It's Neil Orcus here, and today we're checking a game called Torum Online. Apparently, it's like a popular mobile game that's on Steam right now, so you can play it on your computer instead of on the small screen, which is cool. It's supposed to be some kind of MMORPG, which is right in my alley. That's why we're trying it. I'm going to be playing it for a few hours, do my first impressions, and see maybe it's something fun to play. Who knows? Let's find out. So here we go. We're going to create a new character. We got our character creation. Neutral. A, B. We're going to go for male. Skin color. Ooh, I like the uh, BN one. Can be wider than this. That's perfect. You gotta go height. Medium. Rather tall. Tall. Short. Rather short. I think I like rather tall. No more fit. I don't think that makes much uh, of a difference. We can see some definition in the legs, but that's about it. Oh, we're gonna be fit anyway. You got all the face options. One eyed. I like that. Cute. Demonic. Oh, that's perfect. Unless there's a one with the mustache. You're gonna go with that. Nope. So demonic it is. You can pick your eye color. I like ruby. Because it's red. Thanks. Oh, it's just a hairstyle. I don't think we can go bald in this game. It's full on like anime hairstyles. Quite a few options here to go through. Shave design. I mean, you can go with that. It's not too bad. Get that nice little V there. Yeah, that's, that's good for me. Let's go with that. And we're done. We get to pick our beginning weapon. So we have a sword, bow, staff, and knuckles, halberd, and katana. Available as a sub-weapon of bow. So I think bow is the way we're gonna go here. I would kind of want to go katana, but I think we can play katana too with the bow. We'll see. Looking good. A balding, fit guy. Perfect character. Whoa. Actually looks better than I expected from the screenshots. How rare to see someone traveling alone around here. It kind of reminds me of some like JRPGs right here. Oh, you can even pick your answers. I just started. You can learn some useful information for your adventure. Okay, let's go through the camp, see what the NPCs can tell me. You look kind of cute. I'm Libera. Hello, Libera. Calling me cute. Go talk to the members in the camp and go to the turn the leader. So we're gonna move with the WASD, rotate the camera, interact with this guy. Give me some potions. Revita. Give 99 potions. Thanks. This guy also gives me more potions. Vita plus. Max HP. Oh, it's above potions. I think I'm going to learn from Libera. She can teach me. So we're going to get hang of the combat here. Combat is automated. Really? Ooh. We got a full on level up animation. We got a power shot. What the hell? It takes forever to charge it. Or you just one shot the mobs with it. Is it a five second cast? Holy crap. That's a quite a long cast for our shot. Defeat Helm Collins. Very avoiding fighting while avoiding the bird like monsters, Pico. Basically, aggro them when you start casting. You're just getting levels left and right now. Give me all this loot. Yeah, it does have a very JRPG vibes to me. It's a pretty old game, but it doesn't feel too mobile. Except the UI is kind of massive. We're gonna get to kill this boss. Let's get it. Looks like that's the ruler of this forest. Great, let's show it what you've learned. What the hell? I don't have enough skills to kill this. They won't attack you suddenly, so get fully prepared and before challenging bosses. Oh, she joined to my party. Oh, we're gonna take this boss. Fight the boss. I'm ready. Forest Wolf, level 10. I'm level 6 already. I think she's gonna carry me pretty hard. Yeah, we got him. Easiest boss of my life. But I think she carried me completely. Did we not get any any loot from the boss? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my dopamine now if I don't get loot from the bosses? Ooh, what's that? It's some kind of small dragon. It just knocked me back. Nah, we're gonna fight this guy. There's an escape point in the boss battle. So if you just run past the boss, watch out for the dragon's attack and escape from here. Okay, so we have to run out. Get to the exit. Get out of here. I'm out. Goodbye, team. I'm gonna leave everyone to die. We ain't gonna fight that. Not yet, at least. Maybe we get to fight it later. Looks like we made it up into the first city. Hey, I got like a caravan arrow. Available when equipped with bow. I don't know what that is, but maybe it's like a skill. Or maybe it's like a better arrow we can use. And now we can see our first players too. That's kind of cool. This kind of looks like something from Final Fantasy. Like the smaller races they have in that game. Is the city safe? I think it is. Hardwood bow. Oh, we got a new weapon. 
Great. Rare item package. Story chapter. Show at the location where the current story progresses. So we're just going to follow like a main storyline here. And see where it takes us. So we got this weapon. It's a 10 attack bow. Okay, we got everything equipped. We also have our quest info here. We gotta deliver a package. Blacksmith saldo. So let's do that. It's pretty much just the follow the arrow type of thing here. So you have like a full on skill tree. You want to refine metal or strengthen the weapon. Oh, is this like the enhancing system in the game? Refining your weapon with the uh, with the metal. Leather armor. We actually got a new piece of gear from that. 11 defense gives max HP. Much better. It also has some kind of like a crystal slot on it. So probably have to figure out what that is. Start from the land under development. Next mission. So our map here. It seems like there's a bunch of missions for us. We have to go this way. You can see the question mark in the map. Ooh. What's going on here? It's a female elf. Gotta help them. Defeat all the columns. Sure. Level 8. Use the power shot here. Big damage. And there we go. We killed them all. We helped the female elf survive. Where did this guy go? He wasn't helping at all. Defeat boss colon in land under development. It's a pretty straightforward questing experience here. Have to kill this boss. Stat points? Oh, we got some stat points. Character stats. Oh, here we go. We got strength, agility, intellect, dex, wit, and question mark. Raise dex to increase physical attack power and accuracy rate. Strength also increases the ability power a little. Attack power and stability of arrow affects the bow. So I feel like, I don't know what the agility does. It's like a crit. It's probably attack speed. So I think dex is going to be like the main stat here. Let's do 10 and 5. 12 and 5. Let's see how it goes. Treasure box is locked. Looks like you, can you can't open it yet. You can open treasure boxes by playing the main story. What level is this boss that we got to kill? Boss colon. Recommended level 7. Or you can even increase the difficulty. Okay, we should be able to do this. I gotta run away. It's level 10. If I take it off range and then use the power shot, that's gonna work out. Oh, that was a big damage. Let's do another one. Power shot. Oh, we don't have enough MP to do it. Oh, so the bottom bar is MP. So we need one full bar to use the uh, skill. I like the music they have. Pretty good. Boom! Level 10 boss done. Yeah, that was quite easy. Maybe now we're gonna open the box. Nope. Not yet. Give me my reward. Stray badge. A badge to identify yourself as an adventurer. It was the ring that we got. Max MP 200, accuracy 1. That's a nice ring. But I think we already have a. Yes, yeah, so you can only have one ring equipped. Is she gonna give me a new quest? Some kind of elf grandma. Rare items. Money received from Mubia. Oh. So I guess this is what we can slot into our equipment. You can have a vitality one with the crystal. It's one way to enhance your character. It's delivered to money to Triel and Balth in the land under development. So here we go again. 100 Spina. I guess that's just the currency of the game. They're running from a golem. We have to go like help them out. The golem is in the ruins ahead of here. So that's where we go. Defeat excavated column in underground ruins. Oh, looks like we've got a bunch of rewards. I didn't even take. So I think the golem is gonna be this way. The ruined rat. This guy's a level 10. I have a feeling this boss is gonna be too difficult. Oh wow. He's trying to kill me. A strong leg made the golem sluggish. Okay, we got a full party here. Should be able to do it. Level 16. I'm level 10. Should be fine with these guys. I think I just hit 23. Barely do any damage. 150. Okay, I do damage. Still pretty easy boss no challenge not that i expected to get any challenge in this game it being a mobile game after all we get strength gem intellectual gem and dex gem support items for boss battles oh these are the when it asks you to if you want to put a support item that's gonna be the one level 13 did i just get three levels for killing the boss i think i did they shower you with xp in this game you have to go all the way to the top Go to the governor's office and see the chief consul. Yep. Let's see what she wants me to do. Pro probably just kill some kind of boss. It seems to be very boss killing heavy game. You gotta collect some information. Collect information at Vanderer's camp in Ryuxalt Plain. We have to go 
all the way down i think i like how you can see these mobs on the on the map there's a rucko plains here i'm not sure if this is the right place this rail salt plains yeah so we have to go one down it says ruined temple town these are level 21 and yeah, we can't kill these it should be from here but i can't see the the portal it must be this one damn it you can't jump off the cliff basically have to go on the road how do we collect information in here just kill these i'm gonna try to kill one I'm pretty high level already nicodemus Ooh, seeing them players in the open world pretty cool item found beast i think she has the information for me collect heart dragon skin collect lamb meat I don't know if this is like a side quest. Maybe these guys drop me dragon skin. Kind of weird if they do. Oh, they do. And then these guys gonna get the, uh, the lamb meat. Gonna kill one more dragon. And it's done. I wonder if we can already learn the skill. Need to learn power shot level 5 to learn this skill. What's a Mueba shot? Sticky liquid. It's like a slow. I think I want to get the uh, this one. Bullseye. This one is locked until we hit level 30. Learn 5 types of skill to obtain a combo. Here we go. Put a bullseye on the 2. I want to try this skill. Oh, that's a good skill. I like that. Talk to Grandma Ruano. I think I'm doing some kind of side quest now. Level 16. Well, there we have it. Torum Online. Honestly, so far, it's pretty like fun game. The UI is a bit, a bit distracting because it's way too big. I wish there was a way to scale it. I couldn't find a way, but there might be. Hopefully, maybe. I need to do some Googling for that. But yeah, it's a very reminisce of like old JRPG games, which is something I like. Feels a lot like that. Where you, then you have other people running around and you can like group up and stuff so if you enjoy old school jrpgs this might be worth checking out if you can get past the ui the graphics but all in all the first impressions were pretty good about the game could see myself keep on playing this for a little bit see the other mechanics and maybe there's gonna be more fun bosses that you actually need people to, to defeat which would be cool but you can definitely feel it being a mobile game first and this is just a pc client type of thing but yeah, tell me in the comments what do you think about Torum Online. Give the studio a like, subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.